Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. I'm back with Jan's Plans and Pans. It's hard to believe that it's only been a week and two days since we have a new president of the United States. And he has been working hard as he could and getting things done and executive orders one after another. I want to tell you about some of them. Um, some are to undo things that Trump has done. Some things take us moving, moving ahead. Um, it's good news. So let me tell you about one of them that may really affect you or your family. That um, now there's open an opening up for the uh, Affordable Care Act from uh, February 15th to May 15th for new registrations to get on the exchange, to get your health insurance, um, and especially um, for those who have been impacted by the uh, COVID virus. So you wanna know about that and spread that on to people who need, um, who need more health insurance. Um, there is an executive order pausing all new oil and gas leases in our public lands and waterways. Isn't that great? Um, there's an, an executive order banning um, uh, that, that repealed what Trump banned on um, transgenders, uh, transgender people serving in the military. What a cruel thing that he did. And now um, transgender folks can serve in the military like anybody else. Um, and um, finally, uh, the one I wanted to tell you about instructs the Department of Justice to not renew contracts with private prison corporations. And this is so important. This is um, for inmates in prisons. No more contracts for these private prisons. Um, so also, I wanted to tell you that uh, there's some key confirmations that have done. We're moving along and putting people now into their permanent positions. Janet Yellen was confirmed um, and sworn in as the first woman Treasury Secretary. Uh, we have uh, Anthony Blinken is now the Secretary of State. Uh, I knew and worked with him in the um, Obama administration on foreign policy. Pete Buttigieg has uh, passed the committee to be confirmed for the Transportation Secretary, and we have every um, hope and assurance that he will be confirmed. Jen Psaki is the new press secretary. And if you've been watching her at all, it's really a breath of fresh air. First of all, there actually are press briefings, which is uh, uh, an advance right there. But you know, her ability to handle all the questions, to deal um, respectfully and honestly with the press corps, um, I'm sure it's good for them and it's certainly good for us. Um, the uh, White House Coronavirus Task Force is now having briefings with the president three times uh, a week. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about a real danger that we have in the House of Representatives, and her name is Marjorie Taylor Greene. She is a follower of QAnon, um, the conspiracy theory um, that there, that this group uh, of people who are pedophiles rule the world, and um, it's it's also very anti-Semitic. It's that um, and drink the blood of their of their victims, um, which is an old trope used against Jews for centuries, actually. But I've joined uh, my colleagues in calling for her expulsion from the um, House of Representatives, and um, I think you know she, this is the woman who has said the way to deal with Nancy Pelosi is to put a bullet in her head. Um, and she um, has actually called the um, Sandy Hook, um, the, 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 the issue of the shooting of the children at Sandy Hook, that it was uh, all concocted and as part of the QAnon conspiracy. Um, and um, she's been named um, as a member of the um, education committee now. Think of that. Um, and it, it's very dangerous.
to have her in this situation. We've seen increased now um, threats against, death threats against members of Congress. Um, and um, we have to have a way to live um, in safety and to work in safety in the capital of the United States. Um, others of these new members um, uh, want to bring guns onto the floor of the House of Representatives. They can have them in their offices, which I feel offended by, quite frankly. I think all of the Capitol complex, complex should be free of, uh, uh, of weapons. Um, so, you know, posting these kinds of threatening things um, is, is really frightening. And just today, my colleague, uh, new Congresswoman, um, Cori Bush, absolutely fabulous woman, um, has come forward and said that uh, Green has threatened her. And now um, she and her staff are moving their offices. Um, uh, Cori Bush is doing that in order to um, be safe when she is in Washington. And, and working. So um, legislative introductions, I wanted to just tell you about what I did this week. I introduced um, a bicameral, bipartisan package of bills that deal, um, six of them, that deal with the ongoing um, COVID pandemic. Um, one deals with quality care for nursing home residents and, uh, and workers. Uh, making sure that all of the um, uh, drugs and, uh, and vaccines are always kept uh, affordable, um, that all private information that, that may be collected during the pandemic is um, protected. Um, and so um, I'm very happy about this, uh, this package. We think that with having bipartisan support and support in the Senate, that we're going to be able to pass a, a number of, of them. Um, I wanted to tell you about COVID um, in Illinois. Um, in total, we've seen more than 19,000 deaths here in the state. Yesterday, we saw 4,156 new cases and 71 deaths. All the cautions, the precautions, the hand washing, the distancing, and the masks are still very, very important. Um, and um, the Biden administration is working very hard to clear up the, uh, the mess, the lack of leadership that they have shown in the, in the past. I talked to um, the top leaders, including Tony Fauci, yesterday, and um, they are hard at work trying to clean up some of the, uh, the issues. One of the really big problems we've been having in Illinois is the issue of vaccine distribution. Um, there's not enough vaccine, but also the process. So I have created a page on my website with all the latest vaccine information, um, and we can update it as there is new information um, and so be sure and check and, and check that out. Um, I know that the sign up pro process has been incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Um, the city of Chicago uh, and Cook County have now um, set up a telephone um, call system so that people can call rather than go online to be able to register for vaccinations. This should help. Um, particularly people who don't have access to the technology or seniors who don't want to do it online um, should be able to, to call and we'll uh, bring you that information as soon as it, uh, as it comes, becomes available. Um, I did um, want to tell you that, and, and you probably saw on television, that the president did have a conversation with Vladimir Putin and he did finally raise the issue. And I don't know what the conclusion was, um, but he raised the issue that the Russians were paying people to murder, um, at least that's the information we got from our intelligence agencies, to kill American soldiers in Afghanistan. And um, he finally raised it, and in um, all those months, 
that Trump knew about it, he would never ask the question. So hopefully we're gonna to get to the bottom of that situation. Also just wanted to mention that Cecily Tyson, um, I was surprised to hear she was 96 years old. Just an amazing film and TV artist. Um, she was a, 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 an, an actor of such tremendous authenticity and, and skill. So um, she will be missed, but you know, fortunately, we can watch her work on um, online, on television. So um, I will be back uh, next week. I'm sure we'll have more advances through the Biden ad administration. And um, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook where my handle is at Jan Schakowsky.